second section talks about backdooring Android apps. Backdooring means injecting your payload into available Android applications. The payload which we'll be using to backdoor the available Android apps is Android Metapetter Reverse TCP payload, which is already available within Metasploit. We will also make use of a shell script to perform all the backdooring activities in an automated fashion. Though it can be achieved manually, but it's a tedious process and sometimes a lot of mistake happens and you end up being frustrated. So let's make use of this shell script thanks to the contributor for backdooring Android APKs. This is the URL. This is the shell script, which is hosted on GitHub. Take a look at it again. Now let's get this backdoor APK shell script on our Kali Linux machine. We will copy this get address and we'll go to the console, we'll type in git clone and paste the address copied from GitHub. This will download the backdoor APK shell script for us. Takes a couple of seconds or maybe a minute. Depends on your internet speed. It's done for me. Do an ls and we can see there is a backdoor.apk directory here. Go to cd backdoor.apk. Do an ls. Again, go to cd backdoor.apk. Do an ls. And we can see there is a backdoor.apk.sh directory. Now, before we can make use of this shell script for backdooring Android applications, we need to do some configuration setting in the shell script. We'll make use of nano text editor for the same. Um, once again, thanks to the contributor such, for such a wonderful script for backdooring Android application. Also, as you can see that there is a dependency for this script to run properly. So we will open a new terminal and we will download the dependency and install it. And we'll do yes. It's getting downloaded for us. Takes a couple of seconds. It will download and install automatically. We do not to worry about it. Let's go to some of the other options which are necessary for the script to execute and backdoor the Android app successfully. We need to change the name of the APK tool from APK tool 2 to APK tool only. Here we need to provide the IP address on which you want to receive the shell access, similar to what we saw in the previous section. So you can provide in the IP address of your machine and on the port on which you want to listen for the connection. On attacking machine. At this point we are set. We'll save the changes by hitting control O. Enter and then control X for exit. <clears throat> 
if you look into the another terminal dependencies got installed successfully everything is set now now for this script to work successfully we need apk tool version 2 now let's see what is the apk tool version it's 1.5.2 so we need to replace it to apk version 2 let's quickly download the apk version 2 i'll show you how to do that go to google type in apk2 go to ibotpeaches.github apk tool install we'll go to the linux section and we'll find the newest here we'll click on this it will take you to the repository where you can find the different versions of apk tool they will download the latest version i'll show you how to do that This is the latest version. We'll download it from here. It's going to take a couple of seconds for me, as you can see. Still 10 more seconds to go. It might be faster for you because my internet connection really sucks sometimes. So once the APK tool is downloaded for you, you can find it into the download directory. And we will make some changes there. I'll show you in a second. It's almost done. Now let's see. Open a new terminal. Go to the download directory. You can see we have apk tool 2.1.1. We will rename it to apk tool. We'll do that with mv apk tool apk tool dot char cross check apk tool all right. Then we'll go to cd user share apk tool directory. We can see we have apk tool dot jar here. We'll remove this. Now we will copy the new APK tool we have downloaded and which is residing in the download directory and copy it here in the user share APK tool directory. All set. Let's cross check again. Done. Now we need to modify the permission for this. We'll do APK tool dot char. All right. Now let's check again what version of APK tool we have now. And we have 2.1.0, which is the latest version. And now we are all set. We'll do exit from here. Now I have a VLC app, which I have downloaded from the Play Store. I'll show you. I have the VLC.apk file. Now in the backdoor.apk directory, where we have this backdoor apk.shell script, we will copy the vlc.apk. It can be any apk file which you want to backdoor, any Android app which you want to backdoor. So for the demonstration purpose, I'll be using vlc. It's a famous app. So I'll just copy root downloads vlc apk dot root backdoor backdoor apk directory. We have the vlc.apk file here. All we have to do is simply run the backdoor shell script and provide the apk file and it will 
perform the backdooring for us in a very automated and fast fashion. Let's take a look at it and press enter. Now it is decompiling the original APK file. So the original APK file is the VLC file, VLC.APK file. So for the decompiling, it makes use of APK tool. We saw how to use the latest APK tool. Now it is also decompiling the RAD file. RAD file also means another you know, payload file. And now it is looking for location into the smallies and just doing some of the patching work and recompiling and it will sign the newly generated backdoor for you and everything will be set in a couple of more seconds. Be patient. That's all I can say. It's selling the recompiled APK. Now done. Do an LS here. So we have a backdoor VLC APK file in the CD in the original directory. So we'll go to the original directory. We'll do an LS. There's a distribution directory here. We'll go to the CD distribution directory. We'll do an LS. We will see there's a VLC.APK file. This is the backdoor file. This is the VLC APK file which you need to send to the victim. This VLC.APK file is backdoored. So when the victim will install this VLC file, VLC will work as usual, but it will also give us shell access on our attacking machine, which is our Kali Linux machine. At the same point, in order to receive the shell, you also need to establish the handler, which we saw in the section first of this course, to receive the shell access. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and will use this information carefully. This course was this course was for uh, for research and education purpose only. Thank you for taking the course.